Welcome to Fontaine International's Preventive Maintenance Procedures for No Slack 2 Fifth Wheels. This program covers the recommended steps for performing the 90-day 30,000 mile PM and includes visual inspection, function, wedge stop rod adjustment, and lubrication. Remember to exercise extreme caution, follow all stated and customary safety procedures, and be sure to wear safety glasses. Begin the visual inspection by cleaning the fifth wheel. To degrease properly, the lock should be in the closed position. To close the lock, push the bumper off its seat with a pry bar. This provides cleaning access to the jaw and wedge. Be careful, when the mechanism closes, the handle moves in quickly. After cleaning, check the top plate, mounting brackets, mounting angles, and all moving parts for cracks, excessive wear, loose or missing bolts, or any other damage. Look under the fifth wheel and make sure that nothing is hanging loose. Check and make sure the bracket pins on both sides of the fifth wheel are in place and secured by retainer pins and cotter pins. Now make sure your fifth wheel locking mechanism is functioning properly. Begin with the fifth wheel in the unlocked position. If the wheel is hard to open, it may be due to a tight or unlubricated wedge. The wedge can be released by striking the end of the spring-loaded wedge stop rod with a hammer. Insert a test kingpin such as Fontaine Kingpin Tool MSC712 to close the lock. Only minimal force is required to couple your no slack tube. Make sure the jaw and wedge are engaged behind the kingpin. And the pull handle is fully retracted. In the locked position, the pull handle should be within one inch of the skirt of the wheel. Open and close the wheel again. Look for a quick, crisp closing action. If the action is slow or sluggish, it may be due to a buildup of old grease or a bent part causing binding. Now, check the wedge stop rod adjustment. Push on the wedge stop rod until it touches the end of the wedge and let it spring back. The wedge stop rod is spring-loaded and should spring back out after you push it in. This movement or free play should be one quarter of an inch when coupled to a two inch kingpin. To adjust, Turn the wedge stop rod counterclockwise to increase the free travel or clockwise to reduce free travel. Turning it in too far will result in slack and cause premature wear, but any misadjustment can cause the fifth wheel to bind and become very hard to open. Now lubricate the fifth wheel. On models without bracket liners, apply grease to the two zerk fittings on each side of the top plate. These supply lubricant to the bracket bearings. Bearings should be greased with the fifth wheel in an unloaded condition. Rock the wheel back and forth while applying grease. Some grease should flow from the bearing pockets. If you do not see grease coming from the bearing pocket, use a crowbar to lift the top plate while applying grease. On models with bracket liners, it is not necessary to lubricate the fittings on each side of the top plate, but free rocking motion is important. If the fifth wheel does not rock freely, remove the top plate to inspect the liners. Initial inspection of the bracket liner should be made at 180,000 miles on standard duty applications and at 120,000 miles with heavy duty applications and every 30,000 miles thereafter. To inspect, Remove the bracket liners with a screwdriver. Visually inspect the liners and replace them if they are broken or show excessive wear. Liner thickness must be at least one eighth of an inch at the top of the liner. To reinstall, strike the top center of the liner with a rubber mallet. Now reinstall the top plate and lubricate the lock mechanism. First, trip the wheel closed by pushing the bumper off its seat with a pry bar. Be careful, when the mechanism closes, the handle moves in quickly. Next, pull back slightly on the pull handle, separate the jaw and wedge with a big screwdriver, and distribute grease between the jaw and wedge, pressing it between the serrated surfaces. Fontaine recommends a Molly-based lubricant, such as Mobile Grease Molly 50 or equivalent. Also apply grease to the stationary jaw at the front of the throat. Now, work the lock mechanism back and forth several times to further distribute the grease. 
For sliding fifth wheels, lightly lubricate the pivot points of the mechanism. Operate the mechanism to ensure it is functioning properly. Now it's time to lubricate the top of the fifth wheel. Apply liberal amounts of grease to the entire surface of the fifth wheel, making sure the grooves in the surface are full of new grease. You have now completed Fontaine's recommended 90-day, 30,000-mile preventive maintenance, and your truck is ready to be returned to service.